Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making a raw vegan cheesecake and I've tried out a few recipes but this one is by far the best. So for the crust, we're going to start out with raw almonds, which I bought them whole but I grounded them last week for a different recipe but it doesn't really matter because they're all going to be ground up today anyway. And then we're going to use coconut flakes and medjool dates. And a little tip is if your dates aren't that soft or sticky, you can just soak them in hot water for a couple minutes before you use them and then they'll be great to use, which is what I'm doing here. So now I'm just going to ground everything up in a high speed blender to make the crust and all the measurements and everything for this will be in the description so check it out there if you want to make it once all the ingredients for the crust are all blended up we're just going to add them into a six inch lined cake pan and you're just going to press the crust mix to the bottom of the pan and i actually ended up removing the outside layer of parchment paper because it just wasn't sticking quite well and later on i didn't have any trouble getting the cake out so it's not completely necessary and i like to make the outside of the crust a little bit thicker and higher than the middle part so that's just what i'm doing here and then once the crust is done i'm just going to put that in the freezer while i make the filling of the cake so for the filling of the cake we're just going to use raw cashews which are soaked in water overnight maple syrup which i just got at my local grocery store the juice of one lemon vanilla extract which i forgot to film putting into the blender a dash of regular table salt and one can of full fat coconut milk that has either been chilled in the refrigerator or the freezer just before and if you chill coconut milk the fatty white part all rises to the top so we're just going to use that in the can and then the leftover water at the bottom is really great to use in smoothies so you're going to blend up all of those ingredients in a high speed blender for at least a couple of minutes because you want the texture to be really smooth and creamy and while you're blending it i would pause it at least once and taste the mixture to see if it needs anything added or not and i thought that it could use a little bit of sweetness so i added just a little bit more maple syrup so here is the final filling that looks amazing and now you're just going to take the crust that's been chilling in the freezer out and you're going to pour the filling on top and level it out then we are going to put the cake back in the freezer for just a little bit to let it set while we cut up the fruit for the toppings. To decorate the cake, I really just improvised, but I used strawberries and raspberries, and I sliced the strawberries into thin pieces and made kind of a flower on the middle of the cake, and then I just put the raspberries in a circle around the outside. But feel free to decorate it however you want and use any fruit because I'm sure there are a million different combinations that would be good, but I do highly recommend this one. So after you're all done decorating, the cake just needs to set in the freezer for about four hours. Um, but I was a little impatient with this and I took it out before it was completely done. So that's why it fell apart a little bit when I was slicing it, but it was still absolutely amazing. And this is such an easy and great treat to make that is relatively healthy and it will impress anyone that you make it for. I ended up having it for dessert at dinner that night with my roommates and they were absolutely obsessed with it. And we actually finished the entire thing that night at dinner. So this was definitely a winner and I will definitely be making it again and the awesome thing is that you can um, experiment with so many different toppings and combinations and you can even add a fruit into the mix when you make it to make it different flavors and colors. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed the recipe. I know that I did and if you make it, I would love to know. And as always, thank you so much for watching.